this is a demonstration of Dashbook communicating with QuickBooks through our QuickBooks integration module. So we start with a brand new Dashbook in database in this example. We can use an existing one, of course. And we can go into the integration module and say, get the customers. We don't have any right now. If we look, we have uh, just the default, uh, no information in the customer section, no information in the product section. But we can get that from QuickBooks. If we swi switch to QuickBooks, we set up a very simple database here in QuickBooks in my company file, company file that has a few books. It doesn't have any checks written uh, yet, and it has a single customer with an invoice to a few books. We can pull in multiple invoices. We can pull in the customer, get customers. We can ignore this for now. The first time, QuickBooks would need permission. We would have to switch to QuickBooks. You would see it blinking, and it would ask for permission for Dashbook to access the data. But we've already done that. Now we have the customer, or more than one customer if we had such. Then we can import all of the invoices within a date range, and it has created the order for that customer. It's now in Dashbook. And again, if there were 100 orders, they would all be in Dashbook. At the same time, it also created products. But we don't have any royalty connections, and that's the purpose of Dashbook, right? So let's go in and create a royalty arrangement. Let's just title this one 50% of net, but to make it happen, we have to choose net here and put 50% there. We can have more complex royalties. And then in the product section, we're going to connect these with royalty holders. So book two, let's create a new vendor, or, or uh, royalty holder, author two, and save that so we can connect up that royalty. We're going to do the same thing with book three. And note that you can import information to quickly uh, connect these, but I hadn't done that. So, but it's very easy to create your data as you go. Now we have just connected up author two getting royalties for author two's books and author three. We don't have any royalties calculated because the only orders we have here are still in the open state. So if we glance at advanced to look at the royalty calculations, a very nice auditing trail there. We can close and apply changes, and you'll see, bam, there's our answers. That's the royalties that we owe from selling these products. And of course, Dashbook can handle more than one order of worth of data. We can further finish this off by going into pay the royalties as of a certain date. Let's just make it easy and say today. And then, if we didn't have the checks in QuickBooks, but we can create them. Create QuickBooks checks. It wants a certain range, a bank account, and an expense. We really should choose royalty expense, but I didn't have one in my company file. And there you see now it's actually created the payments into QuickBooks. Maybe one of the last things you might do, want to do is look at the reports. And uh, this is one of the many styles of reports we have that says, okay, for royalty, uh, for author two, there's book two, and there's, you know, there's your sales and, and results there. So that's all it takes. You saw very quickly how we can get this done by communicating with QuickBooks, and Dashbook can do a whole lot more. Thank you.